What up, doe? Welcome back. It's your boy Laws OSS 980, other side of sports. It's me. It's Aaron. We in the building. Rocking out. You already know. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Well, not a lot of stuff, but some some stuff to talk about. A a Aaron, your boy was cooking on the golf course today. I shot a 40, <laughs> dog, on the front nine. Was on my way to 80. I was cooking, bro. You said on your way to 80, but then what happened? You I, said that I, like I, something I happened. Only played nine holes, dog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. On the kids, so we we I couldn't, but I was cooking, bro. And it's the league joint. So you know it's head to head, but I must be talking a little trash in the joint, be trying to rattle you with you know it, it be doing the funny business, but it ain't matter though. I was on one today. I was gonna hold me today. Um cooking. Dog, what was up with you? How how your day go, dog? Can we talk about it? <laughs> date. I'm talking about the joke. About. <laughs> we about to joke. <laughs> Get a little rendezvous. We ain't go. We ain't go nowhere. Grandma just went up the street. <laughs> Nigga went for a drive. <laughs> <laughs> dog, did you see the Tom Brady roast? Dog, it was. They was cooking Tom Brady, bro. That I saw was, uh, the clips, but I didn't see the whole joke. It looked funny. It looked funny, though. Yeah, they were saying some, some off-the-wall type stuff, dog. Adam and up that joint talking about Lebos. He talking about, you know who the tight end that was hung the most? Talking about, what's him, what do you call it, who killed himself, Jane? What's his name? Hold on, what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dog. This joke was outrageous, bro. They was going... Too far. Dog, Kim Kardashian was sitting in the front row. I think, bro, I'm surprised she ain't leave that joint early, dog, because she was, they were going in on her. I, I wonder how that guy feel when you like just to butter all the jokes and it's like nothing you can really. She made a fortune off her. Not really doing nothing, just getting smashed off and then being the punchline of a bunch of stuff. She to turn that joint to a billion dollar empire for her whole family. She is not tripping. Dog, she looks sad, dog, because they was cooking her, dog. Like, they was good. Go back and watch the drink. It was a lot of low blows her way. Yeah, it was a lot of low blows. Like, I mean, yeah, that jump. Yeah, it was OC, bro. It was OC. But they was. I saw they kept talking about uh, his, his wife getting smashed off. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And a yeah, bunch yeah, of the yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah, by the yeah, personal trainer. Funny. They was going in. One of the Bama said something about Robert Kraft and the Bama Tom Brady's whispered in his ear, like, don't say that again, bro. Like, oh, that's what he said to make him say that. Yeah, he was talking about Robert Kraft. He said something about Robert Kraft with the with the women getting the massage joint. <laughs> and the back said, Don't say he went up and was like, don't say that again. So I yeah, I don't know, bro. They was cooking Belichick. Everybody got it. Got a little piece of it. So, uh, did you see the video? Uh, uh, Belichick leaving the sneaky leak house with no shirt. Yeah, they got him. <laughs> they stopped. They was cooking he a wild boy. He's a wild boy, dog. He, dog, you can't. How you a celebrity leaving the drink with your dog? Yeah, it's OC. It's OC, bro. It's OC. Uh, good. I jump wild. Of a special out right now. My man Cat Williams got a special out that drink. I see like three people say it was weak. Dog, the last 10 minutes of the drink is gold because it's actually true. It's not a joke. That's it's it's not a joke. The last 10 minutes of the drink is not a joke. And that's why it's good. The special itself, I think it's solid. You know, it's typical Cat Williams. Like you're not gonna he, he not gonna hit you with nothing you ain't seen before. Um, but it's it's this classic cat, though. It's classic cat. Um, Drake versus Kendrick. Er, we talked we about doing? it. We said out the gate what was gonna happen, and that's exactly how it played out. Exactly. Dog. That was a lot of fighting words until blood started getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody want cop please and <laughs> Bamas would have had meetings talking about, hey, we got to stop. Nah, <laughs> Bamas start losing bread. No, oh, everybody want to play in the street. No, you play these dumb games, you get dumb prizes, Aaron. There it is. <laughs> there it is. No, I mean, from a 
from a from a music standpoint, like a lyricism standpoint, Ken, Kendrick is killing your boy Drake. He's murdering Drake. <laughs> the Family Matters joint. That joint is hard, dog. That Family Matters joint is hard. The the joint that Drake did with the three beats in one. It's like three songs in one joint. That joint tough. I ain't even gonna hold you. That that joint might be my favorite joint out of all the disses. But I am with y'all. Uh, that Kendrick, he got the washing him. He washing him. But part of it too is like you think about like when Bama's is fighting in the on the playground, and then a Bama getting whoop, and then somebody from like that's standing in the peanut gallery like go kick him, like he try to get up and Bama like sna snatch the coat and the Bama, you know, he getting jumped, dog. It's a whole bunch of Bama's against Drake, and it's not like they ain't know this Bama Ben Corn. He been on tracks with all of these Bamas, dog. Now all of a sudden they want to turn on him. It just but come, sometimes come, people do this to themselves. Oh. Yeah, but he be dog. The Bama be doing a little passive aggressive stuff, pillow talking, and doing little moves on Bamas because he was on top. And now that he ain't hitting all the home runs, he can't hit seventy home runs no more. <laughs> all of a sudden, Bama's turn on him, and now Bama's want to act like he getting jumped. He been doing this stuff to everybody for the longest time, dog. And teaming up with the other side to do little slick stuff. Duh, it's just surprising to me that nobody in this camp, like, ain't nobody stepping up to like try like defend him. And I'm I'm shocked. He keep playing. I mean, it's the thing. It's like if you got let's say you got a sibling, right? And they saw mm -hmm. and they know they saw. Mm -hmm. But they know they big brother outside. So they gonna do mm -hmm. little stuff to people. Mm -hmm. When you say, hey, stop, play it. Like, because when the trouble come, you're going to call me every time. <laughs> and he keep, like, he should have stuck to his lane, rap for the youngins. Uh -huh. He keep one play tough and, and, and uh -huh. poke at people. And then when he get left on his own, he got to rely on, uh, Jay you know. No, nah, not even them. Like, because they ignored him. Wayne ignored him. Wayne said, dog, don't try to rap like me. Just stick to what you've been doing. So now that Bama's leaving him alone, he like, oh, man. He called it into the big guns. He called it in the record executives. <laughs> try to I would have called him all great. I mean, the thing is, it's like I don't know, though. Like you got the you got the the pedophile accusations against you, and it's just like, though, it just dirty game. J Cole was the smart man after all, though. the whole time. <laughs> The whole time he said, "Young, y'all not gonna have my baby mother out here looking at me crazy because what I've been doing on tour buses all across America. Like, nah, let me just chill out. I'm on one, no possible. Because all that is it's just gonna ruin you. your dirty. Eye. Yeah, it's just gonna ruin ruin your image, dirty laundry. You don't know what Bama's got, dog. And if it's funny, it don't even have to be true. It's it gonna stick. Have to be true. The allegation it's, will it, stick. Yeah. It's it's all about perception." And like who can win? That's why I'm like, I don't know. Dog, Drake is an actor, bro. Like, just do some, just do a skit, dog. You can be funny and, and win the and win the public public on your side. You can't beat the pedophile allegations, dog. Once those get once you get that jacket, it's over with. He was groom. So this is the thing. It would be one thing if it was a picture of this bad McGroom. Now I don't know about the, I don't know if I want to call him a pedophile, but like the grooming. The Bama definitely been grooming. That's pedophilia. R. Kelly got is licked he? for the exact same age bracket. If a youngest is 15, but he was, 16. But he, was, but he was going in the room with the youngest, dog. He was. If you were attracted to them, dog, that's pedophilia. Okay. You a okay. grown 40-year-old Bama. Why are you even in the same space? I can't tell the difference in age from a younger from like 17 to like 23 at this point, dog. Like, that's how old I am. You're right. The allegations is hard. It's hard to beat them, dog. The grooming, I, I just, I yeah, he he just need to throw the white throw the uh the white towel in though, and just just let it be, bro. Cause this joint, and like he kind of did that with Pusha T in a way where he like the Bama lost the first round and just let it go. Mm -hmm. I feel like he feel like he's like Kendrick is the only guy cornier than he is, so it's like he felt like. Obligated to keep going back and forth, and it cost. Yeah. Bama should have dropped one song. Kendrick told him, "Like keep it, keep it PC. We don't got to bring everybody else into it." But Drake wanted to keep showing how tough he was. Now the bridge is over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you need a banger, banger for the summer, or it's over with. Yeah, because I think Kendrick, that last drink Kendrick dropped, dog, the euphoria drink with the, that with drink the West, West Coast beat joint. That, that Jerry Rock, though. That was ain't like the joke. I don't know why Jason and was hating on the joint at first. I'm like, that joke hard. I'm like, this joint, this joke job bounce. I'm like, and that joke, and the timing, that's the thing, too. He just just shooting them joints out. Yeah, back to back to back to ain't back. no meetings, just get in the booth, get the rapping, dog. And I mean that, yeah, that's hard to do, bro. That's hard to do. Uh, on to some sports. Uh, dog, what's up with Rashi Rice, dog? This Batman can't stay. A- Got in trouble again. I guess. I guess he was beat up. Beat up a photographer or something, or attacked a photographer. CTE at a club. Like, bro, just stay out the. Just stay home, bro. When you're rich, the club is at home. Like, the club is at the house. You can get whatever youngers off IG, whatever they you like your youngers to look like, you can have them joints pull up to your front door. This pull up to the hotel, wherever. Like, not saying. You can have a little hotel uh, gathering, whatever whatever you want to do, you can have. So I don't understand why these jokers be still wanting to be in the mix like that. It's just nothing but trouble, though. It don't help you in any kind of way. It don't help you in any kind of way, though. It just, just yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what's going to happen with him. He already got the situation with the, with the, with the hit and run joint with the car. I think he about to be suspended like four games for that joint. He so, might be one of those dudes that got to learn the hard way. You gotta give him a season. Let the uh, NFLPA fight the drink, and just let the Batman know, like you're not nice enough to be doing all of this. You're not nice enough to be doing. All AB this. wasn't getting in this kind of trouble. Not at all. Not at all. Um, NBA playoffs. Oh no! Before we get into NBA playoffs, Patrick Beverly, the last game, threw a basketball into the stands at a fan. And then threw it again when they threw the jump back. He threw it back again at him. And basically, and this is where it gets a little tricky because I've heard people on the radio talking about the situation. And basically, one of the fans' comment was, see you in Cancun. Or you're headed to Cancun. Oh, like Coon? Like trying to call him well, a Coon? Well, see, see, you see how that, that that's already been, your thought process is going, like, is there some racial something <laughs> with it? And, you know, Patrick Belly has since come out and said, like, you know, that was a bad decision on his part, and he apologized and blah, 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 but he was like, some people crossed the lines. Yeah. But he's not saying exactly how they crossed the lines or what they said, and I, I just don't know why he's trying to like protect them and not just say what it is, unless because he knows cameras it, and it was <laughs> never happened. Or it's cat, yeah. And the Bama just trying to make it seem because that's convenient that you just not saying or giving the details around it, especially if you want empathy from the public about you throwing a basketball at somebody's head and trying to, you know, hit them a female at that. Then he gets into the press conference and they questioning him. And he's like, hold on, do you subscribe to my podcast? He was like, oh, then I can't interview with you. And then he just like kind of pushes her mic to the side and just like, yeah, can you get your mic out of my my uh, face? And then he like talks to the other reporters like, you, you subscribe to the po- podcast? Okay, I can talk with you. And it's just like, people don't like that, though. I don't really have a problem with that piece of it. He's like, sorry though. Like when you sorry, you can't <laughs> have that same level of arrogance and like like a LeBron would have got killed for it too. But it's certain players uh, like a Russell Westbrook where people would have been like, Man, that's corny, but not corny, mm-hmm. but like all right, like you you, mm-hmm. you you don't have to be like that. But he's mm-hmm. sorry. So when he's sorry and acting like that, it's like, hold on, dog. You get you get a little <laughs> podcast, you getting ahead of yourself, like you gotta chill out. Uh, 
Yeah, though. I, I just Patrick Beverly's one of them type of dudes, though. Like you love you love him or you hate him. Like and you might could beat him in one on one. I might, I might could beat him in one on one. <laughs> like the Babasar. He gonna do extra though. You know, if you play that Batman one on one, he gonna be doing extra, trying to bump you and push you. Yeah, you gotta bump those kind of dudes. But you gotta play illegal too. Oh, but, 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 elbows, but, knees. He not gonna... <laughs> yeah, he gonna. It's, be go, it's to gonna end in a fight. You not even. It's gonna end in a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he gonna try to big boy me and stuff. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not going down like that, champ. Like you think it's sweet over here if you want to. Okay, okay, but yeah, I, I just it's Patrick. No, he's nearing the end. The Batman need to go ahead and retire. He just a journeyman slash leadership role type Batman on the team. They got put out. Uh, could be Doc Rivers' fault, but you know it is what it is. Uh, Darvin Ham gets fired as the Lakers' head coach. Was it his fault, Aaron? <clears throat> to me, the Lakers played as about as well as anybody could have anticipated against the Nuggets. They just didn't have the personnel to be able to beat that team. So I don't know what the standard is. Just because LeBron is on the team at damn near 40 years old, people act like he's supposed to be LeBron from 10 years ago where he in the conference finals every year and got a chance to win a chip. It's just he's not that player anymore. So, so this is the thing. I'm with you. LeBron James is not that player anymore. But they treat the Bama like he is. They fired at Darvin Ham. They about to bring in whoever he wanted to bring in, right? Like they keep doing all the stuff to cater to him like he's still the guy. When but AD didn't like him. So, like, I don't know that it was just LeBron. Like, it seemed like the player, uh, D'Lo didn't mess with him like that. So it seemed like the players didn't really uh, – wasn't feeling them like that, but at, more of my I mean, issue with LeBron like is like it's 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 like a young who all it's always the guy, it's always the guy. This Batman had about ten <laughs> head coaches, you know what I mean? So it's like at some point, just let, just let him be the head coach, dog. They had a I saw an Instagram video with this Batman on the sideline, like. It's, it's like minutes left in the game. He's like, give me the clipboard. Give me the clipboard. I got it. I got it. Like, he want to run his own plays, dog. Like, I mean, this is what kind of you're dealing with. I'm not coaching for the – well, actually, if they ask me to coach, I'm going there you right definitely now. definitely going over there. I do whatever the baby say. I'm like, LeBron, what you what you? Give think? me the board. You're going to hand it right to him. You're yeah. going to say a word. What you mean? Say, but I'm just, ahead, wasn't going. I just, I'm just there for the bread, though. I'm not there to really, like, make no culture shift for change and no kind of – like – LeBron, it's it's his team, it's his way, whatever he want to do. They might get JJ Redick in there next. I mean, I he'll be the culprit next. Like it's always a scapegoat. I never seen LeBron James take accountability for an L. Never seen it though. So I, I don't I don't know what what the fu the future of the Lakers look like, but. It's LeBron James' team. It's they his squad. They weren't winning the chip anyway. Like so, they wasn't. They wasn't. There was no chance. But the way Minnesota job walking the uh dog walking the Denver Denver uh Nuggets like they are right Sweet. now, I'm Sweet. like, hold on. Bama's could they couldn't give him a run. Sweet. We got Jamal Murray on lock. This Bama throwing towels on the floor. He, no, they got that Bama. He, he he's getting strapped. They slowing down Jokic. He can't he that Bama only had 20 points the other night. They up two games to zero. Is Minnesota going to the chip? No, I got them over Boston if they go to the finals. Which really? I think they're going there. I think no, they, they hitting their stride at the right time. The coach no, the coaching. Oh my god. Like most of the time when we watch sports. The coaching to me hurts more than it helps. It's just, it's just, most of it is just subpar. But when you see certain coaches that are really good, even if it's just in moments, like, you know, you see like a Popovich or Belichick, just different, different coaches that kind of come up sometimes with these game plans 
where it's like they actually know what's going on. They know how to use their personnel. They know how to how to battle against other teams' personnel, strengths and weaknesses. Though that game plan that Minnesota has for for uh, the Nuggets, though ninety nine, and they can't do nothing with it. They are frustrated. It changed the whole team personality and demeanor. Yeah. They lost both home games. Both home games. Rudy Gobert didn't shocking. even play the second game, and they still got thrashed. So, dog, I, I sense a sweep coming. Unless league orders come in or some fluke injury happen, dog. Sweepy sweep. Yeah, it looks like it's it looks like it is trending that way for sure. Uh Boston takes care of business. They knock out the, the Cleveland Cavaliers in game one. Um that job look like it's is about to be a short-lived series as well. The New York Knicks. Aaron, do you believe in the Knicks? They can beat the Pacers, though. Pacers trash. Halliburton hurt. They got Beta Max at the center with Miles <laughs> Turner. They, I just don't think they're ready. I think they're missing a player or two before they can be seriously considered. Yeah. Uh, they did get a little, they get some calls that kind of went looked a little, little funny business. That's a fact. At the end of the joint, so the fake kick you know, ball, the yeah, fake uh, just, screen. Yeah, it just yeah, that screen. Uh, I was like, though. When the referees insert themselves into the games like this, though, you just know it's Stern's orders, though, every time. And it just – I mean, I get it. There's excitement around the Knicks. And so, you know, that's profitable for the league, the Knicks doing well, because the Knicks is a, a huge market team. So, I it's mean – It's not I a fact. I want to see the numbers. Like, because we've been hearing this news that I don't – like, I ain't never seen no evidence to suggest – Cause you know New York is going to put their sauce on everything to make everything uh, they do better. You than know everything. it's the Big Apple, dog. You've seen you. I want to see little- the numbers. That's what I want to <laughs> see. Cause like we've been hearing this our whole like like the league's better when the Knicks are good, the Giants and all that uh, stuff. Uh, uh, I want to see the numbers. Not the Giants though. <laughs> I want to see the numbers. That's 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 not that's not it. The Giants ain't they ain't making the league better. I'm just saying like Nick though. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of star power in in New York. As Do young people like, feel the same way? I don't know, dog. But that that this game was rocking, though. Them Batmans was. Brunson is was, a cooker, though. Yeah, Brunson is a flat is a out cooker. cooker. He's a cooker, dog. This Batman forty point games. He got like five right now. Yeah, he yeah. That Batman's a problem, bro. That Batman's a problem. Uh, they got game one, uh, game two tomorrow. Um, then you have. The Thunder and the Mavericks, they locked in a in a in a in a burner. Um Thunder up by nine right now at halftime. Um, and then you have the Timberwolves and the Nuggets play 5-10. What's that? Tomorrow? That's uh the next game is that's what Thursday? Are they giving them two days off? That ain't gonna help nothing. Yeah, because they traveling back. They just gonna mm-hmm. extend the ass whooping. That's all that is. <laughs> ah, yeah, dog. So, yeah, there you have it, dog. I mean, we're gonna see what happened with this Mavs and Thunder joint. Um, I, I, I right now, Timberwolves is the favorite in my eyes, dog. In the West, I got them in the East. I got the Celtics in the in the East. Um, if the, if Boston and Timberwolves go to the finals, I got Boston to win the championship. I got Boston to win the chip, uh, and that's just because they've had more experience at that that level, and I think that's just going to come into play. Um, in I the think finals. they go get Infinity Stones if they sweep Denver. I think their confidence is going to go through the roof. The mm-hmm. coach's confidence is going to go through the roof. And Anthony Edwards, dog, this Bama just – it seemed like every couple weeks this Bama advanced a year in his development. He's mm-hmm. only 22 years old, dog. In three years, dog, it's not even going to be close, dog. It's not even going to be close. He's definitely he's definitely on the MJ trajectory, dog. He just got everything you need. Like, he got the total package. The Bama got the J work. He can hit you. He can hit you with the three. He can hit you with the mid range. He don't settle for the mid range. He can bank you on the like outside. He's further ahead than Jordan at twenty two. 
because Jordan didn't have his handles or his shot at that at that age. And Jordan never got the handles like he had, but and he's str- physically stronger than Jordan was at oh, 26. He's strong, though. And the Batman got bounce. <laughs> and he's strapped on defense. This Batman do it all, bro. Yeah. Batman's fun. Uh, yeah, so I mean, gotta respect that man. He he can he can do it. So the Wizards I, never I, get nobody like that, dog. It's they get the number one pick. You talking about Kwame Brown. No, you know why? Because these the, these gumps in this town think Denny Abdi is good. They think he's good, bro. A guy who's never won anything. He don't have any accolades, Aaron. Not a defensive player of the year. Not a third team offense. Offense. Third team all defense. None of that. Not an all star appearance. Not an honorable mention. Not a not an alternate all star. He ain't got none of that, Aaron. That's why they're gonna be picking first. <laughs> but he he improved. Like, come on. People, really? That's the best we can do. Ted got to get out of here. They ran Dan out of town. They should have been on Ted's ass. That's <laughs> the guy you need to get out of here. Got to get him out. Got to get him out, bro. Got to get him out. Or well, move uh, the team to Baltimore and get an expansion team or something. I don't know. Got to do something. Uh, any football news? Anything? Tyler Many camps and stuff type? started. Oh yeah, many can't. Oh yeah, many can't. First look at Jaden. No, I just I, it was funny to me listening to the radio the other day because uh, what's the Bama uh, Hoffman? Oh, your man, Craig Hoffman was on there, copping please to the people because he was saying. He he did an evaluation talking about Drake May's ceiling is higher than Jaden Daniels. I, I don't have – trust me, if I really want to go back and get the radio receipts, I can get him. But he said it. Then he was on the radio this week because people was calling him out on the joint. He in the joint. I mean, I'm paid to be objective. And, yeah, if I get something wrong, like I get it wrong, and I'll look back at it later. And, you know, I mean, I'm okay with – like – you just want everybody to just regurgitate everything. I'm like, dog, stop it, bro. You sound like Drake out here. <laughs> it's like, dog, just take your bad takes and just eat, just just keep them, dog. Right. It's, a, they, it's a bad take. It's all they right. They were trying we to force the team in the corner to tra- draft Drake, <laughs> man, it didn't work. No, and it's not just that. Everybody who who's associated with the, with the Washington Commanders organization saying that Drake May just wasn't it. And like when he keeps interviewing these people, it just highlights how how his inability to to look at the uh, evaluate film. It highlights it because everybody's saying this, and you're like trying to stand on your square. You look dumb. So of course, what are you going to do then? Like you're not going you're not going to argue back with scouts and people who do this for a living because you look even more dumb. So you're going to try to like side with them, but then fight against the fans. But I know secretly in his heart, he like, I hope he fail. He's he's saying he don't, he roots it for the team and he wants them to succeed. But you know, two things can be true. Drake May can be good and Jaden Dan. Look, Aaron, we know that <laughs> the likelihood is slim to none. So he gonna be some trash. And he had and this is what I can guarantee you. Drake May won't be good this year because he won't be playing. I guarantee you he ain't starting week one. I tell you that, Hoffman. <laughs> Hell out of here with that. <laughs> uh, they still got Matt Jones over there. A- no, nah, they got rid of his ass. They got uh, the guy that was here last year making the offense look uh, NFL, making the offense look like it worked. Uh, Jacoby Brissett. Oh, they got Jacoby. Yeah, so he's going to be starting this year. Really? Interesting. Oh, yeah. They got him as the starter. Drake may be behind him. You know who else the, look. the Patriots got? You know who the Patriots got? Who could? They got Joe Milton, dog. <laughs> I didn't realize they had Joe Milton. Did you know that? Did you know no. that? Drake may ain't going to like that. Because you know how they were trying to slobber. They were trying to slobber 
Drake Bay's arm. His arm doesn't look like it's great it when you get in like the same milk. when you it's throwing like, right it, next it, to milk. And, so, and you know what this says by them drafting Joe Milton because they got a black head coach. This is like they 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 told me to pick this guy. This they reverse Kirk. But Cousins. I want this guy. This it's is the like reverse Kirk. Kirk <laughs> Like, okay, I'll take the owner's guy. But I'm going to take my guy go, in the yeah. fourth or fifth round. Which round did they take him in? Was it fifth? Uh, I can tell you. Hold on. They got him. Looks like. Don't say NFL. fourth round like Kirk. Not. Um, let me see. I think it's the six. I'm about to I'm about to find out. Let's see here. 193. They picked him in the round six. Okay. They got him in round six. And so, you know, they saw him sitting there and he's just like, we're gonna get our guy. And dog, and this is the thing. This is another thing. When you when you have them two in practice. Joe Milton and Drake May, and it's going to look, you're going to see it different. It's going to look different. Way different. He might not even see the field, Aaron. That would be hilarious. Nah, he's going to see the field, though. It's no way they cannot. Not they going to want to play. They, they, they. Nah, not this I, year. Because he's not good. Well, enough Jacoby this year. get hurt. If Jacoby get hurt, he'll be forced into action. That's what I you think, need. You need him to be forced into action. But I think, like, we don't need nothing fluke to happen for the evaluation to be right because the evaluation is You're right. You're right. You're right. And I don't right. want to root You're against right. 21-year-old Bamas and 20-year-old Bamas just because they got idiots, grown-ass idiots on the radio <laughs> and on TV that's trying to, like, push other better players down. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. like, I hope the Bama you know, end you up know, being you decent. Know, you, know be you, know, you, know the, you know the narrative, though. He can't get. He's not getting a chance to play. That's your best bet, because at least you can pretend he hasn't been sorry yet if he's not playing. So you don't at least won't have to be like, "Dang, it's time to move on already." No, but if he's not playing, that would that tells you he's sorry, Aaron. Yeah, because if, if he good, if he if he good, if he cooking, you gonna make the move immediately. He just his flaws are just things that you that's not gonna be fixed in a training camp or off season or OTAs. Like he needs to be in the building. He needs to be coached for at least a year and build up some new routines. Because um, he he misses too many of the easy throws, mm -hmm. and he's not good enough to like New England talent wise is depleted on offense. So it's like it's ain't gonna be all on him. Help yet. Yeah, ain't nobody there to help. And he's not good enough to like will a team to be better. He's not one of those kind of players that just makes everybody else better as soon as he steps in the room. Mm -hmm. he, he's going to need a lot of help. So for those reasons, just don't even have a bad mouth to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's an interesting though. I ain't realize they had Joe Milton on that roster. <laughs> he might he might leapfrog that bad man training camp, dog. To, to, the QB too. He can't do it, dog. He got picked in the first round. What pick they have? The fourth pick? Third. Third, they got Drake May. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna be trying to, they're gonna be trying to drive that car sooner than oh, it was a miracle that these Bamas ended up with the number two pick, though. It was so fluky, though. So fluke. Can you imagine? If we was at three and we were forced to get Next 10 years, though, be trash. <laughs> oh, you set the franchise back. You set the franchise back. The thing is, though, I think now that I'm like just being, I'm just saying, for my my assessment, I think these dudes would have went and picked, uh, what's his name? Penix. I think they would have picked Penix if they couldn't get, get uh, Jaden Daniels. I would hope so. Because they, the, the word we keep getting is, Drake May wasn't even on the board or an option yeah. to take it to. So yeah. you would hope that means 
I mean, I would be scared about J.J. McCarthy, too, because that's what they say. Yeah, right they along. really, really liked him, but. That was too high for him. That was too high for him. And comparing him to the Penix night and day, in my opinion. And you pick J.J. McCarthy, McCarthy, you got to let him sit because he ain't played enough. So, yeah, bro. We we got we got through, dog. You see, we back. We back. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us at OSS980 at other side of sports. Uh shout out to Wiz Buffy. Shout out to Sports Talk Tasha. Sport out shout out to Lance J Radio. Shout out to Kicking It with G Man. Bending those best. Everybody who rock with us heavy. We out.